Hello, I'm here to take a look at the Office 365 backup capability of ArcServe UDP 8.1. ArcServe UDP for Office 365 includes backup and restore of OneDrive, Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and Microsoft Teams. Now, unlike many Office 365 backup solutions, ArcServe give you numerous ways to deploy and license their solution. Firstly, if you are already using ArcServe UDP to back up your servers or workstations, you can leverage your existing investment by adding on the appropriate number of Office 365 user licenses. Office 365 backup is also included with every ArcServe appliance or capacity-based license. Data protection. So purchasing an ArcServe appliance can be a cost-effective option for larger Office 365 deployments. One of these Arcs of appliances like this bad boy here can literally back up hundreds of terabytes of data that could include your entire server infrastructure, all of your workstations, and thousands of Office 365 users' data. Finally, Arcs of UDP Office 365 backup is available as a hosted cloud solution, either hosted by ArcServe themselves or in Australia from a select number of providers. You can, of course, choose your own cloud provider and self-manage the deployment. My name is Nicholas G, and I'm the Technical Director from Cloud Ready Solutions. We are the specialist distributor for ArcServe, serving Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Islands. I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough, backing up and restoring Office 365 data using ArcServe UDP 8.1. So let's jump straight into the demo lab. Okay, I am now connected to a lab environment that's actually hosted in a local Australian cloud provider. Um, you can see the, the URL, it's quite easy. I'm actually running on a Mac and I can administer from anywhere with any modern browser. Um, so there's a new feature of UDP 8.1, uh, which I'll show you, which is the uh, two-factor authentication. So when I click on login, I'm asked for my verification code, which I can get from my phone, from the Google Authenticator app. And that lets me log in. So this is the ArcServe UDP console, which serves as a single console for all ArcServe UDP backup tasks, regardless if it's Office 365 or if it's Windows servers or Linux servers or Nutanix systems, VMware, Hyper-V or cloud-based systems, or even Oracle databases. It's all managed from the single console. This console hasn't been running particularly long. It's been created for demo purposes um, but you can see here we have some interesting stats where I have um, 878 gigabytes of restorable data um, and that is contained within 122 gigabytes of actual disk space so um, we're getting some fairly effective uh, deduplication and compression um, I'm only backing up Office 365 with this system we have three successful backup tasks, and I will go in and show you what they are. You can actually see I've got three resources, Exchange Online, OneDrive, and SharePoint Online. ArcServe UDP uses a concept of plans to perform backups and other tasks. So I'll just quickly have a quick look at the plans and just see um, the basic options when you choose to add a new plan, the different things you can actually add. So we've got Linux, Windows, um, file shares on UNC or NFS, agentless backups, Office 365 Exchange, OneDrive, SharePoint, Oracle databases, or you can replicate from a remotely managed RPS from another location. We're more interested in the OneDrive and Exchange and SharePoint plans. So 
going to have a quick look at the Exchange Online Backup Plan. UDP 8.1 has a, a very uh, clear uh, instructions on how to create the prerequisites for a backup plan for Office 365. A backup plan will always consist of a primary task. And a primary task is usually to take a backup of some kind. You can see here this first task in my Exchange Online plan is actually to take an Exchange Online backup. If I wanted to add a secondary task, I'll be given a list of tasks that can be performed after an Exchange Online backup. I can do an assured recovery test. I can copy the recovery points to a network share or to a cloud resource. I can copy to tape. I can replicate the backups to a, another data store managed by this same UDB console, or I can replicate to a remotely managed Arcs of UDP console and RPS. So looking at our primary task again, we have defined an, an Exchange Online source. I can add additional Exchange Online sources if I wish to, this plan, but for purposes of the demonstration, we'll just have a look at the existing In this plan, I've selected to protect all of my Office 365 source data, which will include all mailboxes, all groups, distribution, um, and security groups. It will also include all Microsoft Teams data that is stored inside of, of Exchange Online, which is particularly chat data. Once we've defined our source, we choose our destination, which would be a data store that is running on the repository that we're performing backups to, which in this case is a cloud resource. We can choose a schedule um, to perform the backups, and that's typically a daily or hourly or weekly, monthly incremental backup. I can add additional backup schedules. Choose a weekly and a monthly backup schedule and choose the retention that I wish for each backup schedule. The advanced tab allows me to run scripts before backup started or when a backup is completed and also enable email alerts if I wish to do that. Email alerts would be recommended for a production environment. It's worth pointing out a new feature that came in UDP version 8 is something called modern authentication. So this is where we use a security certificate to authenticate and connect to Office 365 rather than a username and password. Of course, usernames um, or rather passwords do expire quite frequently, so it is better to you always use the modern authentication. The plan is almost identical to the Exchange one. We define our source, our destination, and our schedule. Similarly, SharePoint Online. Let's see our SharePoint sites, select the ones we wish to back up and exclude any we don't want to back up. And I guess the next thing to do is actually just to, to let a backup run. So I'll run a the, maybe the exchange plan just as a manual backup. Um, I can run the OneDrive again as a manual backup. And finally, I'll run the SharePoint plan. I can view jobs that are currently running from the jobs tab. And as this is an incremental backup, it shouldn't take too long 
And of course it can be run several times a day to make sure that you've got the latest data backed up out of Office 365. I can click on details to view the progress. And as you can see, it's just about coming to a close and our overall data reduction percentage is actually 99.99%. Similarly for the uh, exchange online, it's backing up the, the 27 mailboxes. And again, we can see the overall data reduction is, is incredible. I'm back in the UDP dashboard and it's time to do some restores. So I'm going to first of all choose my resources and then I can select um, Exchange, OneDrive or SharePoint to restore. So I'll start with Exchange, just choose Restore from the Action menu and that will launch the ArcServe EDP agent. I'm then presented with a calendar which will show me all previous recovery points. You can see here if I click on the days that are highlighted in green, I'll get an option of the backup taken on that day. But I'm going to use the one I took earlier today in this video. Choose next. And I'm just going to scroll down to select my name. And I can show you, I can, if I wish, I could select all mailboxes and restore everything using that checkbox there um, but if I just want to restore one item I can first of all find the um, the file or the email within my um, folders I can also see my team's message data and Yammer information if I need to restore any of my team's messages but if I just want to restore a, an email, I've got a specific one I do want to restore, which is called test email to delete. And it's in my inbox. So there is a file I wish to restore, an email I wish to restore. So I'll just select it, choose next. I can choose to restore to the original location or an alternate location. I can choose to skip if the file still exists or overwrite in the destination. And hit next, and then I'll pre be presented with a restore summary. There's my restore summary, and once I click finish, the restore will take place in the background. While that's happening, I can kick off my OneDrive restoration. So again, I'm just going to select Restore from the dropdown. Again, I'm presented with various recovery points that I can select from. And again, I'm just going to select the latest one taken today. I'm going to choose my own account. And I'm going to restore this file. George the Superdog. It's a very important docu document I have been working on. Choose next. And I, again, I can choose to restore to the original location. I can choose to restore to, a, to an alternate location, or I can choose to export to disk, which um, will be my local disk. Um, if the item already exists in the destination, I can choose to restore with a new version or do not restore or overwrite. So I'm going to use a new version and choose next. And after a few seconds, I'll be presented with a restore summary. There's my restore summary. I'm going to restore George the Superdog back to my OneDrive. Click finish and the, again the restore take place in the background. Finally, SharePoint Online. 
select restore. I can choose my recovery point. And I can browse SharePoint items. You can see here that uh, the, this is actually a, a Microsoft team I created. I can see my team's wiki data. If I browse there and see my wiki information. So I could restore that back to the team's wiki. Um, also in the documents, I've got a file that I can select to restore. Choose next. And again, I can choose to restore to the original site with, with a new name or to the original location or export to disk. It's going to go to the original location and choose next. I am then presented with my restore summary showing me what's going to be restored and where, where it is going to go. And then the restore continues in the background. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from that quick demo of ArcSiv UDP Office 365 Backup. To summarize briefly, firstly, do you need to back up your Office 365 data? The only answer is yes, absolutely. If you're actually using Office 365 for your company data, you do need to ensure that it's being backed up. It's a common misconception that the cloud takes care of itself. However, it is not Microsoft's responsibility to care for your company's data. The second point to summarize is that ArcServe UDP Office 365 Backup does give you the flexibility to store your backups wherever you prefer. You're not locked into any vendor cloud. You can also store multiple copies of your backups at various locations. UDP Office 365 Backup is licensed per user on a subscription basis. However, its full capability is also included with every ArcServe UDP hardware appliance or capacity license. Finally, it is now possible to back up every aspect of Office 365 with Teams, Exchange, SharePoint and OneDrive. So that's all from me, but if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, share and subscribe. I'm always keen to hear feedback and suggestions for further videos. See you later.